Today on Aristea 99, it's Axel Steel. Axel Steel is one half of Reckless Hearts, the, a 2019 expansion to Aristea the game. We're going to look over this kickboxing Muay Thai guy real quick over. His initiative is 7, amazing. Movement of 5, great. Energy of 5, fantastic. Health of 4, normal. Ain't complaining. His defense is 1 blue. Now, normally I'd go into other things, but first off, we got to go all the way down to the bottom to a passive ability of his called a tough nut to crack. Whenever an enemy declares an attack on you within range 1 to 2, line of sight required, your defense is a green and a blue. This right here tells you two immediate things about Axel. One, he wants to be up close and personal with whoever he's fighting. On the other hand, if you want to take care of him, do it from a distance. Um, not to be uh, crude about this, but essentially find your ranged characters and gun them down. <laughs> so that's your Wild Bill, that's your Major Luna. You could possibly use Hannibal, don't recommend it. Um, Legong, there, the list kind of goes on from there, but you get the idea. He needs to be up close and personal to be at his best, but also to be at his safest. From there, we're going to look at his brawn roll that is a blue and a yellow. Not too bad. Uh, the big thing here will be when we get to a switch. For his disengage, he gets an orange and an automatic success. He's got a very good chance of getting away. Now, like we said with the uh, brawn, uh, for one bang, if you are adjacent to the target, displace yourself. Now this is actually very interesting because, well, you have to be adjacent to the target. So if you are um, attempting to stop someone from moving, that's when it's going to happen. If you are in melee with someone, that's when it's going to happen. Um, it's kind of one of those fun things right there. It is a is it, displaces are nice. This is a little restrictive. Not necessarily a bad thing, but there you go. So we might as well go ahead and take a look at uh, his other orange passive ability, Footwork. You may displace yourself for each success you nullify with your defense, with your blocks, during the results of a uh, result step of a face-to-face -face roll, maximum twice per roll. So essentially the better your defense is, well, <laughs> uh, the more you actually get to displace yourself. This is actually kind of nice for one for him getting out of um, out of range of somebody in this situation. Um, so it's not necessarily, uh, it could happen while you're um, someone's ranged attacking you. Um, that is entirely possible. But he's going to get the most out of this when a tough nut to crack is in effect, meaning he's in melee. Now you can decide to, hey, I am going to disengage from this person. Absolutely a perfectly valid thing to do. But another thing you can do with that as well is, uh, well, circle around. You can move around them and basically stop them from going in a direction or making it a, a less favorable movement path. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Additionally, if you want to, you can use this to tie up multiple targets. So you get done um, with footwork on one target, then you go to another. This is kind of nice. Um, and again, kind of emphasizes he wants to be in the scrum of things. He wants to be in the middle of things. So it's, you kind of see this thematically, how they're backing everything up. And thank goodness he's got that high initiative. Next up is going to be Low Kick. This is a three-point attack. It has an orange, a blue, and a yellow. Now what's very important to note here is it's got the double arrow, meaning this happens no matter what. 
um, and that is impose the minus two movement state to the target. So you are going to use this basically to, um, obviously you want to try and do damage, that's always a good thing. But at the same time, what you're kind of counting on right here is you want them to not move so fast. So you can go up to Musashi, whack him, and possibly get away from Musashi before he really has a good counterattack. Uh, do notice there is a blue in there, so that does mean he gets um, a little bit of defense in here. Likewise, there is a yellow. And if you're in range to use low kick, well, you're in range for the bang to let you displace yourself. After that, it's a two-point attack. Left, left, right. That's a red, a yellow, and a yellow. So you've got some damage potential here, sure, but the bigger thing is the double bang switch. Impose the stunned state to the target. Uh, stunned is a terrifying uh, disability uh, state to have on some characters, especially if they're particularly sensitive to needing that one success. Um, a lot of the support characters, for instance, will have abilities that the odds are not utterly fantastic to get two successes and this can help shut them down uh, likewise with any offensive character while well, you get rid of one success some of them like say uh, wild bill for instance has got that automatic success from the get-go very nice additionally there are other characters that will make use of the stun states uh, whether it's final boss and moving around uh, Major Luna, one of her tactics, will give her additional damage on it, so on and so forth. These are really good things to keep in mind. So let's go on to his tactics. First off, we got Uppercut. During the action step of Axel Steel's activation, love this one, inflict one damage, one wound, to a target adjacent to you, displace it. So it is automatic damage, uncontested damage, something I love. But you also have an basically an uncontested displacement. Uh, you want to use this ideally either to give yourself some breathing room or to push them next to somebody they're really going to have problems with. Um, so maybe someone, uh, another melee powerhouse, maybe someone who is really good at keeping you stuck in one place. Uh, perhaps getting them right in range for uh, a long distance person or out of the range of say someone's minimum range so while if they're adjacent to wild bill you hit them with this uh, with axel and you get them just far enough away that what wild bill can open up or major luna or whoever there's a lot of uses for that um, and just the abilities like hey you my enemy i'm going to displace you now if you had to you could also use this to displace a friendly. This is only f uh, saying it's for targets adjacent to you. If you're willing to inflict the wound, um, you know, that's not a bad thing. Um, if the search, uh, depending on the circumstances, uh, some characters could take it, uh, Padre Mendoza uh, and Cinderella Massacre could come to mind because they will regenerate that as soon as it's their activation. For instance, Maximus, uh, doing that just means you know, he's got one less hit point out of the possible seven. You can use this in any number of ways. Um, using this with the jackpot would pretty much just kill the jackpot. Um, if you wanted to target, for instance, an uh, obstacle, well, guess what? Uh, it's not going to really take damage, but it'll still let you move it, and you know that's kind of valuable. After that is going to be hit the liver during the action step of Axel Steel's activation. Until the end of the round, your left left right attack gains a switch. Bang bang! Impose the minus two entry state to the target. Now I think this is actually the uh, first, uh, Axel's the first character who can do this intentionally. Uh, Bachman can if there's one for him to work with. Um, but and there are characters who can impose it on themselves after doing something sufficiently awesome. Uh, Shona would be a great example with Amputate. But Hit the Liver is the first one that actually lets you impose it to someone 
as a uh, debuff in a, and you just need to have Axel. And the nice thing too with uh, left, left, right is, okay, it's got the two yellows, so great chances, especially when you couple it with the red, of getting this to happen, but it's also a two-point attack, which means, well, uh, you could do it twice if you had to. Uh, no, this is actually very good, and honestly, if you're using uh, TCOM or Sterling Forge, you do have the option of using their respective uh, automatic switch enablement um, tactic cards, where it's like, okay, and I'm just doing the switch. Um, there are probably better ways to do it if you, ha if you can, but still, that's really good. After that, this shark still has teeth before making a defense roll with Axel Steel. Until the end of the round, you may add a red, this is very unique, a red die to your defense rolls against any target within range 1 or 2, line of sight required, or you may add 2 uh, blocks to your defense rolls against any target within minimum range of 3. Wow, my gosh. So, um, you've got really two ways to look at this. So, if you want to, um, and they're within one, two, you can use this to add some punch to your defense. Um, a red is fantastic for that. Uh, good chances of success, plus you got the critical possibility. Um, but more than that is, okay, so if they're uh, one, two, or three, you can just go ahead and say, you know what, the heck with it, I'm just going to add two blocks automatically. That's pretty huge for him, I'd say. Um, and also that is going to tie in with uh, his switch and footwork in that it'll let him displace himself as well. Because um, you get two more blocks, which means hopefully up to two more nullified successes. Uh, certainly Musashi could put out <laughs> two successes, no problem. Um, and that is a really, really awesome thing uh, right there. And again, just if you need to get a little more punch in, you know, the opponent has got one health remaining, you know, might be worth it to add a little bit of teeth to it. Finally, Saved by the Bell. During the de declaration of an attack in which Axel Steel is the target, the action performing and its effects are nullified. The active player loses all the action points spent. This is a character specific no. Um, that's pretty awesome. But more, it's not really, it, it's a no, uh, it's only for Axel. And um, it is for actions. It's not for tactics. And that's kind of a interesting distinction. So this is not only uh, character specific, it's only for Axel, but is a no to an action. So if someone is going to be using, um, you know, say Musashi is going to go ahead and use his big attack, uh, this would be a no to that. If while Bill shoots at him, well, you know, that's an a that's an action. We're going to stop that. Um, it is not usable on tactics, as far as I can tell, although I think uh, with Shona, there might be exception because her tactics give her, what, actions. So this is a very powerful card, um, but I don't feel it's overpowered. It is the sort of card that, you know, you may want to find a way to fish back out. Uh, that's just such a sweet effect right there. Um, having Wild Bill on your team would be a great way to do it. Um, having TCOM, uh, just letting you reshuffle everything might be a way to do it. But yeah, wow, that's pretty, pretty awesome. But that's Axel Steel. Uh, he is a very much a front line I need to be in the scrum of things I need to be in the middle in the hairball um, just messing people up as best I can um, you know the damage potential mm, I don't know about the damage per se um, he seems like he'll be okay 
but not compared to some of the other melee specialists. However, his ability to, once he's in, in that area, to actually just go around and, I'm handing out stun, I'm handing out minus movement, hey, I'm just handing out minus two energy, is pretty impressive. Um, so I would definitely give him uh, proper support. Um, he is someone that should be targeted. Uh, but um, no, he's a, he's a pretty cool dude, I think. So like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next week on Aristea 99.